Shake it. Luke in the Phillips booth at CES 2008, and we're standing beside an award-winning exhibit, an award-winning product. Luke, what can you tell me about this? Okay, this is our 42-inch uh, PFL 5603D. Uh, this TV won an Eco Innovation Award. Basically, this TV has features that are eco-friendly, uh, help with environment and things like that, but it also has a lot of horsepower. It's a 1080p panel, 60 hertz, has a beautiful picture, has all the things that, you know, people that watch TV and know, know about the product want. Well, our, our audience, of course, is always curious as, right. as to when somebody gets an award, we want to make sure it's uh, not an award, uh, you know, purely on, on a uh, cosmetic sort of thing. We want to understand what makes it uh, particularly eco-friendly, not so much the source of the materials, but in its day-to-day -day operation. Right. Well, this, this TV backs it up. This TV has a thing called active control. And what this does is it's a computer that uses a light meter to measure the ambient light in the room. So if this TV senses like a lot of light in a bright, bright setting, it j increases the backlighting of the LCD. However, if it senses a, a small amount of ambient light, it dials down the backlighting behind the LCD. So All right, so, so that seems to be fairly straightforward. You put exactly. something, it's looking at the room, sensing the average levels. But uh, one of your engineers off camera mentioned to me that something's going on with the content that's coming through that. Right, right. This TV will actually has settings where it can adjust uh, the, your setting to the content so it can either make the power settings more efficient or less so depending on if you're gaming, uh, if you're watching sports or if you're watching an action movie. So I'll demonstrate some of that here real quick. It's becoming a lot more interesting. Yes, let's yes. let's uh, okay. take a look here. All right, so this is, I'm gonna put the TV into the power setting mode. Toggle down. Okay, now notice right now we're in a power saving mode. Would you say this picture is viewable? I mean, oh, it's it's sure. there. Yeah, definitely, sure. definitely. You can definitely watch TV with this. Now, right now what I'm going to do is cover up our, our light sensor, okay? Right. So watch what happens with this power meter and the watt meter over to the right. We should okay. see it decrease, okay? All right, we'll look, we'll look over here okay. at the watt meter. Yes, thank you. Okay, okay so hold the, hold the card up to it. Now, you see how the watts are going down? Now, move the card away for me real quick, and you'll see how they go back up. So that's a pretty drastic effect. You can see how the wattage dipped quite a bit in the power saving mode. Mm -hmm. Now, the nice feature about our active control is you can still have your cake and eat it too. I'm actually going to change this to our gaming mode. And you will see how the picture is a little bit brighter. Mm -hmm. Our ambient light meter is still functioning and still adjusting the TV set and the backlighting according to the light in the room. We also have another mode, a movie mode where you can tweak it a little bit. This setting might make certain action movies and things like that look a little bit better. And we have a standard mode. Again, these modes are based on your personal preference. And keep in mind, we're always looking at the ambient light, trying to have the most efficient TV as possible. And we have a sports mode. And you can see how this has gone up a little bit more in the power, a little bit brighter picture. Right. And then a personal mode. And then we'll take it back down to the power mode here. Oops. There we go. So that's the power mode. Um, in addition to the, uh, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, I was just wondering, I, I have uh, purchased a non-Phillips uh, flat screen sure. um, uh, plasma, and I've been amazed. It is like another room heater yes. sitting off uh, on the wall, and, and I just didn't re realize, what, what is a typical power draw, say, for a 42-inch uh, plasma? Any right. idea? I'm told the plasma is probably uh, on the order of 50% less efficient. Thereabouts. That, but this is LCD technology this here. This is LCD, exactly. Ah, okay. it, it puts out less heat. It's cooler. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can see here, we can get it down. If I cover this up. How many watts were we drawing uh, on your watt-hour meter there? Yeah, we're down to 93 right now, so that's pretty low. This is a high-definition 42-inch LCD, 1080p. 
and we're getting down into the 90s there. So that's that's a, that's a bit of an improvement. Okay. Is this available for consumers? Uh, this, yeah. This is. In fact, this this feature is on all of our, our lineup for 2008, the 5000 through the 7000 series, and also on the 3000 series. So they would find that. What are some of your common retail uh, channels? Uh, Best Buys. Uh, We'll be having this probably in Circuit Cities, all those different stores, uh, Walmarts, uh, oh boy, just anywhere. anywhere you what, want to do where that. would you uh, find out more information from a web standpoint? Uh, you can go to Philips.com and we'll have information on this panel coming up. It'll be released uh, second quarter from uh, March through May, so uh, look for it in the stores. But uh, we're really excited about the model. It has a lot of functional features that make it eco-friendly has the goods to back it up. It, they really do work, as you guys can see, yeah. and uh, we think it's going to add a lot to the uh, add a lot to the market. Okay, Luke. Thanks very much. Have a good show. Thank you. All Pleasure right. to meet you. Thanks. Kick it.